just reading his book. It's most of these I haven't read yet. So, but this one I'm actually in the process of reading right now. It's The Martian. Hook a motor like this into the rocket, just slide it into the bottom, and launch it, and it just goes directly up. That's what this is. I went through just a lot of a lot of stories from people who were working on the mission. One of the major things that I learned was that Mars missions are very hard, but they're also very rewarding. And it takes a lot of perseverance and effort from a lot of the people on the team who to m make these missions happen. So I realized that perseverance is not only just an important part of the mission, but an important part of humans. And I decided that that was the best name for the mission. And the name of this mission is... Perseverance! Come on, Alex Mather, come to the stage. It is, in my opinion, a central quality of human beings as a species. From the beginnings of civilization in ancient Sumeria, to the Great Pyramids of Egypt, to walking on the moon in 1969, perseverance has been just such a central part of what it means to be human that it only makes sense that we would name our robotic ambassador to Mars after this incredible quality. There's not a license that I know of. Mom, there's not a license to fly model rockets, right? No, I don't think but, but it can, it still works and it still hasn't been lost. Lights on, forward, forward, 40 feet down, two and a half, picking up some dust, straight shadow, four forward, drifting to the right a little. That's one small step for man, one giant leap for mankind. As you're driving down the road, you can slowly see the spire of the rocket rise above the building, and 11-year-old me saw that and lost his mind. I, I immediately knew that space was something I was doing for the rest of my life. I want the rover to help do its job and answer the key questions that it was sent there to answer about the possibility of life on Mars. It's being sent to Jezero Crater, which was once a river delta, which on Earth has a log of life in it. 
So if there's fossils of any sort or any evidence of ancient life, it would probably be there. And this rover is kind of there to answer, was there ever life on Mars? This rocket is the first one I made, besides one of the ones we made at Space Camp, but... For some reason, they all have a habit of flying very close to my face. 